What's going on, everyone? So we have the defensive finalists that were announced. Uh, Bam Adebayo, Rudy Gobert, Victor Wimanyama. Now, Victor Wimanyama, I completely get it. I mean, he's had like a historically great defensive season. Um, I mean, if you want to be real honest, right? Like, if anybody should win it, it's probably Victor Wimanyama, right? He like led the league in stocks, right? Again, having a historically great defensive season. It was ridiculous. On a team where like there was no other real defensive players, right? Like, he just was a monster on that side of the basketball. And look, Victor is very likely going to win several throughout the course of his career. Um, I mean, he had an incredible, I mean, incredible rookie season on both sides of the basketball. And, you know, he lived up to the hype in many ways, in my opinion. Uh, there was a lot of pressure on this kid going into the season and all the hype of, like, the alien and, you know, oh, he was created to end the Jordan-LeBron debate and all that stuff. And, you know, I don't like the expectations that media and stuff put on some of these young kids because it's like, let them grow, let them develop. But, man, he <laughs> he was special this year. He was so much fun to watch, and I'm excited for his future and his progress as a player. Uh, I mean, again, he's out there as a child, basically amongst men, uh, just playing on raw talent and emotion and youth. And I can't wait to see what does he look like when he gets his grown man body, when he actually gets the discipline and understanding at an NBA level. Like, sky's the limit for this kid. Uh, Rudy Gobert, you know, he's the favorite to land um, the Defense Player of the Year trophy. It's kind of one of those things where, you know, I know a lot of people are like, Rudy doesn't necessarily deserve it. But in recent years, right, because you can make an argument for literally several players. Like, if you want to talk about individual best defender, there are several this season that have been better than Rudy Gobert. I mean, you can even make an argument for Anthony Edwards on the Minnesota Timberwolves. Talk about the best defensive team. But Rudy Gobert is kind of like the anchor of that defense. Uh, you saw it the year with the Boston Celtics when Marcus Smart won. Right, a lot of people were like Marcus, like Marcus Smart, like he was like the third best defender on his team, but he was the anchor. He was the guy, right? He was their their primary piece, uh, the the vocal leader, the 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 foundation of that defense. And you've seen that in previous years, where it doesn't necessarily go to the best defensive player, but like who's like the main, like if you remove the him off of that defense, what does it look like? Same thing with Rudy. Like if you took Rudy off of Minnesota, what does that defense look like? Right. So, okay, sure. Right. I still think that there's an argument for other people. I'd still personally rather see Victor Wimanyama win it. I don't care if he's a rookie, right? If you're, if we're going to give it to the best defensive player, then it should go to the best defensive player, right? Like, and Look at the stats, look at the numbers, look at the impact, right? I mean, Victor is that guy this year. Uh, but Bam out of bio. Now, look, Bam, incredible defense player, excellent defender. Really like Bam. Uh, nothing against him. But to have Bam out of bio over Anthony Davis, <laughs> really? That, that's, that's where we're going? Now, look, I understand this is the Laker channel. I understand people are going to look at this and go, well, of course you think so. There's no, you could hate the Lakers. And there's no way you think that Anthony Davis isn't one of, if not the best defensive players in the NBA. I mean, Anthony Davis has been one of, if not the best defensive players in the NBA for like seven years now. And he's had, he has literally in every box had seasons where he was by far and away the best defensive player and wasn't even a final. It, it's it's wild to me at this point, the disrespect that Anthony Davis gets on the defense side of the basketball. I have a feel about Anthony Davis. Whatever you want to say about Anthony Davis, wherever you rank Anthony Davis, there's no doubt his impact on the defensive side and the ground that he covers, it's ridiculous. I mean, his impact when he's not on the court for the Lakers defensively, the Lakers go from like one of the worst defensive teams in the league to like middle of the pack with just Anthony Davis. We saw last year, you had a guy like Jared Vanderbilt, who basically has been injured most of the season. You had a guy like Jared Vanderbilt, and the Lakers immediately become the best defensive team in the league by adding one defensive piece because Anthony Davis is so good defensively and covers so much ground defensively, right? So how is he not in the conversation, but Bam Adebayo is? Right? I mean, even from a personal defensive stat. Okay, let's start with just... 
the wins, right? Because it's like, well, okay, well, Miami must have won more games. They didn't. They finished 46 and 36, the eighth seed. The Lakers finished 47 35, the seventh seed, right? So they had more wins. So it has nothing to do with wins. Okay, well, it must have been uh it must have been uh defensive stats, right? Okay, well, Anthony Davis this season uh finished with a 109.2 defensive rating, right? Bam Adebayo finished with a 110. So Anthony Davis had a better defensive rating, right? Okay. The one stat that you could look at that goes okay, leans towards Miami's favor is defensive rating. Right? So the Lakers uh, finished with a 114.8 defensive rating, where Miami finished with a 111.5. But, again, Anthony Davis, the Lakers are would be like a 120 if it wasn't for Anthony Davis. Without Bam, Miami's still probably like a 113. They have several great defensive players. They've been a good defensive team. The coach, Eric Spolster, is a great defense. Like, if this is an individual award, Anthony Davis had the individual stats. He had the blocks. He had the steals. He had the defensive rating. He had the defensive impact. Yet, Anthony Davis isn't even a finalist this season? He's never won a defensive player of the year award, ever. He's never won one. That is wild to me. And you see, man... Triple J wins Defensive Player of the Year last year, runs up into Anthony Davis, and how did that work out for him? Right? But here's the thing. To me, I hope Anthony Davis used this as fire. Right? I mean, Anthony Davis, he responded. He talked about it. You know, He basically said, look, I'm the best defensive player, and I'm never going to win the award, which is crazy to think about. He said, I'll never get it. I'm the, fe- the best defensive player in the league, and I'll never get it. Wild, because he's not wrong, right? So basically what you're telling me, because it's not like the one seed, the Spurs, again, one of the worst teams in the league. Victor Wimnyama is the finalist. Again, nothing against Victor. Like I said, I hyped him up heavily in the beginning of this video. If you wanted to give it to Victor Wimnyama this year, fine. So be it, right? Totally okay with it. Even Anthony Davis's stats compared to Rudy Gobert, are on par. I mean, and the ground. Rudy Gobert can't defend out on the perimeter and defend multiple positions and cover as much ground as Anthony Davis? Stop it. Again, it's just, what? where are we basing this award on? What is this award being structured? Like, how are people structuring this? Like, it doesn't make any sense. If you want to give it to Victor this year, fine. Give it to Victor Wimanyama. He deserved it. He did. He's if if anybody deserves it over Anthony Davis this season, it's it's Victor. All right, but if you're not giving it to him, and to not have Anthony Davis at least as a finalist, it is ridiculous. But use it as motivation. What's better than a Defense Player of the Year award? NBA championships. Start stacking NBA championships. You know what Bam doesn't have an NBA championship. You know what Victor doesn't have yet, which I do think he'll probably get some? NBA championships. Again, as of right now, Rudy Gobert. What does Rudy Gobert not have? Oh, yeah, an NBA championship. Go stack the Marines. Use this as motivation. Beat Denver. Go through Denver. Shock the world. Show everybody who you are. I mean, he was excellent in game one. Right? Like... You know, there was a big question from the previous show, oh, how Anthony Davis match up to Jokic. I'd say pretty dang good, right? <laughs> he did a really good job. Keep it up. Keep showing these people. Use this as motivation. Use this as frustration. Use this as a building block and help lead your team. And let's go beat Denver. Let's go run through the rest of the West. Let's go win an NBA championship. And then go there. You keep your defensive player of the year. I'll, I'll keep stacking up chips. It's just, it's crazy to me that this guy cannot even, he can't even get a finalist. Can't even get a finalist award. 
again, if you want to give it to somebody else, fine. But at least, like, what are we structuring this on? What is the criteria here? What, like, how are we basing this to where, I mean, the eye test, the stats, the, the everything, the impact, the defensive impact, the wind shares, all of it, all point to Anthony Davis, at least being a finalist. You know, again, like, what what are we basing it on? Because, you're, again, you're not basing it on team defensive stats because then Rudy Gobert wouldn't be there. Or uh, uh, not Rudy Gobert, uh, uh, Victor Wembanyama wouldn't be there. Right? So what is this? Is this a team award? Because the Lakers finished better than the Spurs and the and the uh, the Heat. Okay, it's an individual award. Okay, well then individually, Anthony Davis was better than Bam. He was better in most categories than Victor. Or uh, not Victor, uh, uh, Rudy Gobert. The... Only guy that you could say deserves the Defensive Player of the Year award over Anthony Davis is Victor Wembanyama. It's the only one you can make a real sound argument over. Victor Wembanyama has been spectacular this season, but so is Anthony Davis. And again, if this is an individual award, then why are we punishing him based on the team's overall defense? Rudy Gobert had the best defense team in the league. It's not because of just Rudy. They have McDaniels. They have uh, Mike Conley, right? I mean, even uh, Nas Reed has been solid. They have, you know, Anthony Edwards, who, again, you can make an argument for being the best defensive player in the league. You take off Rudy Gobert off of that team, they're still probably pretty good defensively. You take off Anthony Davis off of the Lakers, Lakers are atrocious defensively. One of the worst defensive teams in the league. So again, wh- what are we basing this on? Where is the... I'd love to hear. What are what what is the boxes that need to be checked for Anthony Davis to get Defensive Player of the Year? Because if it's an individual stat and it's on an individual level, Anthony Davis has checked off all the boxes for years now. Years. I mean, you hear the media... You hear other teams, you hear other coaches, you hear other organizations, you hear fans from other teams all unanimously saying, hey, Anthony Davis is the best defensive player in the world. Anthony Davis is this spectacular. But Anthony Davis can't even be a finalist as a defensive player of the year? The narrative for years now have been Anthony Davis is the best defensive player. And man, you know, one thing, even if Anthony Davis' offense doesn't show up, the impact he has on the defensive level is unlike anything else. Like, da, 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 da. Well, clearly it's not enough because he can't even be a finalist. It is wild. <laughs> Bizarre to me. Again, you want to give it to the team with the best defense? Fine. Then it's not an individual award. If you want to give it to the best, you know, the, the best defensive player, Okay, then fine. why are we giving it to Rudy Gobert? He's not the best defensive player. He's not. There's like four other guys that you could easily just compare their stats to. Again, you want to the best the best defensive player in the league this season was Victor Wembanyama. So give it to Victor, and I won't say a peep. He deserves it. But if you're not giving it to Victor because, oh, well, this team didn't win enough games. Okay, well, then fine. Give it to Anthony Davis. Right? Like, like again, what, what, what are we basing this on? It's crazy. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts on this? Are you uh, as frustrated as I am? Are you not? Uh, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. Let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let's me know enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.